and welcome to Fit for a Feast. My name is Sloan. And my name is Katrina. And today here on Fit for a Feast, we are celebrating the 13 million views. We also have another video over the 1 million mark, which is our Hannah Montana Hoedown Throwdown Dance. As promised, we're going to give you our top 10 tips on how to get more views on YouTube. Number one, get a video camera. If you use the little webcams on laptops or computers, it's harder to get good quality and to see the angles or zoom out. Number two, if you can, get someone to film you. Otherwise, get a tripod or make sure that your head is in the shot. Also make sure that it's in focus. Number three, try to get good sound quality. If it's really noisy or you're outside, try to make sure that you're speaking loudly or you use voiceovers after. If you can't use voiceovers, you can always add titles. Tip number four, edit. Try to edit, if you can, all the things like the pauses in between or the things that might make people bored and click off. YouTube has a free editing program, but there is also lots more of editing programs online that are free. Number five, it's always best to film about things you know about. We film about dance and fitness because that's what we know about. If your thing is music, comedy, or crafts, then that's what you should film. Think of a theme or what you might want your channel to be. It might not appeal to everyone, but it might get a following of people who have the same interests as you. Tip number six, when you have your video all ready, you wanna give it a proper name. Don't call it webcam video October or something like that. Have your title describe what the video is about. Even if you're just talking, make sure to mention the subject in the title. People will type words into the YouTube search. The video will only come up if the title matches the search words. Number seven, post regularly. Don't post five videos within an hour and not post any within two months. It's good to try to post regularly, like once a week if you can. It will help build your audience and keep them checking for new stuff. Number eight, build your online community. Respond to comments on your videos and go leave comments on other videos. But remember, if you want people to be nice to you, then always be nice to them. Number nine, visit and friend other people online, especially people that share the same interests as you do. A lot of time they will check out your channel and sub or friend you back. And our last tip is to put your videos up as video responses. It isn't hard at all. Just find a popular video that relates to your video. Then you go and click on leave a response. You can then choose your video to upload and leave it as a response for others to see it on that channel. We get a lot of requests from people wanting us to mention them or get them more views. Hopefully these tips will help you to get views. We really can't mention all the people that have given us requests. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough time to make our videos. And now we want to get to the shout out. First, we want to give a shout out to Alex, Claire, and Zoe in Australia. They sent us our first fan gifts, these awesome dance shirts. With a nice note for each of us and a couple of other nice things. So we have more shout outs from Australia. Sophie and Alex. Disney Fangirl96. From Israel, we have Leora. From Ireland, we have Megan. From the UK, we have Rosie Ann. Super Tutti Fruity and Catherine. From Germany, we have Sabrina. From Canada, we have Kimberly. Also Georgia and Ivana. From the US, we have Kimberly the Mega Feaster. Azaria and Alexis. Fit for a Feast Rocks. 3381 Dancer. Jackie, Devin, and Mae Jean. From Facebook, we have Aliana. Ela, Jojo, and Jana. Our next shout out will be at the 14 million views and we'll be announcing our next four mega feasters. It's going to be really hard to choose because we have so many awesome fans. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!